the last part of uh, the advanced menu is uh, one thing about um, actually doing the source code analysis down here. And the merge tool includes an object level source code analysis. Object level means it knows everywhere an object is being used in the system. It could be for table relations from a field or flow field, but there's not in general uh, uh, knowledge about where every field is used, and there's not one about where every uh, key is used in the system. That's two things that would be nice to have also, but this one is dealing only with objects in here. So for my performance version here, I go into scan the uh, source code in here, and I had 100 and or 49 relations and 149 variables in here actually. So uh, if I go take a look at that one, I can look at all my relations in here. And I have uh, relations from this table into certain things. And there's a lot of things being found. Basically everything that could be associated uh, with an object in here that is actually being found. One of the things is you can actually have something having a parser error out here. So if you don't have anything to look up to uh, and find the right table out here, if you only exported a part of the objects from a solution or from the base application, you probably have a lot of parser errors out here because you couldn't find those ones. It deals with some of the standard tables out here uh, by actually uh, inserting them based on the database and things like that. One. So that solves some of the issues by having partial, but it's only for the one above 2 billion. So uh, but basically it finds all this one, and for each of these lines, you have a whole set of uh, fields down here where I can say, okay, my form deadlock monitor have 26 variables. And I can go in and see, I see local, globals, I see the type, if it is uh, a reference to another table and thing and that one. If I go and zoom on this data, there's a lot more information underneath actually about this one. I know if it's a temporary table, if it's uh, an object variable and things like that one. So there's a lot of extra information uh, about this one in here. And all these fields, you can drill down uh, and move around in the application uh, any way you actually want in here from the source code analyzer. So if I wanna show this uh, form deadlock monitor in the visual, I can go in and filter on relational object types and things like that one. Um, and I have some options in here. It also has a template up here that's actually going to load all the data in. So the first thing I will have to do is uh, to go and move that one to the right location, or I have to put the path in here. So let's just move this one um, to my temp location. So I have to put it in my temp folder in here. I just put my merge to visual template in here. And then I'll just go ahead and click OK. And now I have a visual diagram down here. I just don't want to activate it right now. Where I actually have put all the relations in here and I can move it around, I can do different things. I can actually um, make some of these uh, auto uh, selections in here. I think it's under design. Where I can relay it out the page to be a circular. And that's kind of a move it in here. This one was not a very interesting relation. So let's go uh, look at another table that actually is a little more interesting in here. The locking priority that is used from several different places. I can go in and show where that one is used in uh, Visio instead. So now build a second visual diagram for me down here. I still don't want to activate it. Um, I can change my design to do a circle of design. And as I look at it now, I can see all the different uh, relations in here. I could probably want to move this one around a little to make it look a little nicer. So you have a lot of relations. It kind of comes out nice, but in this case, I have a lot of things that goes on top of each other. So you both have properties and you have this one. And you can do filters on multiple things in here. So right now I only did this one, but let's say I want to look at uh, where it's shown in Visio and I want everything from this table until um, the 19, for example, in here. So I'll go ahead and now 
I'll get a lot more relations. And I got another visual diagram down here. And it now uh, shows a lot more relation between all these uh, different things. In here. So it's nice, it will give you um, the first try on something uh, by basically using that visual. And you can go in and change the default location. Uh, I think for the visual, uh, this one is not, uh, uh, it was part of the report where it defaulted to that one. But if you change that one, of course, the report will save and it will. When you say show in video here, it will just have the template a different place. So, yeah. So that's the features. It's like finding all object level relations, um, finding variables, and showing video in here. The last piece is actually looking at the source code in here. So if I go in here and say, okay, I want to look at source code lines in here. And this one is all the code that actually was... Um, scanned in here during that one. It will, for each line of the code, have calculated um, what the source code is. This one is where the code was actually coming from. Um, it will show me uh, how many relations there is uh, for this object and think that that one in here. Uh, and I can see um, variables and all kinds of things like that one in here that was based on that line of code in here.